What is going on collectors? What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Comic Card Checklist. And for this episode, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing. And this is pretty much what I bought over the weekend. And this is mostly DC from the company Cryptozoic. And let's see what we got. There should be two binders here and let me see if I could remove it off screen I am a little bit sick um, I've had a cough going for about a week now I'm not really sure how I got it <clears throat> but uh, hopefully I won't be coughing too much and let's see what we got so I guess I'll show off the binders first and I don't know I need to zoom out it looks like it's the binder for the women of legend trading cards this came out in 2013 produced by cryptozoic entertainment and it looks like it is not open yet uh, let's see if there's anything inside maybe a promo card I'm not really familiar so oh I think it was actually a totally fabricated card so let's open it up and see what we got mm. it's not a bad binder looks like we could fit maybe like 30 ultra pros in, in this binder and, and there it is it is a totally fabricated card and this one is Batgirl let me see what number it is um it is TF04 hopefully uh, it's a different um, clothing on the inside I have I have one already but some some of them I've seen different like clothing on the inside so maybe um, I'll have a parallel but that is binder number one and we'll put it out of the way We got binder number two is Superman the Legend and also produced by Cryptozoic. And I'm not exactly sure what year this came out, but it looks like it's also 2013. So yeah, it looks like it's just um, Superman flying over Earth and i'm not sure what's inside what do we get for free oh it looks like we got a whole bunch of cards um let me see what kind of cards you get here i don't know if i have these uh cards set yet and and i'm not sure if this is part of the binder i don't know if the seller added it here and it was supposed to be part of it but um, I can figure that out later for you guys when I provide the actual checklist checklist for these cards. <coughs> yeah, I'm having a hard time um, breathing and talking at the same time. But just wanted to show these to you guys. <coughs> and it looks like I'm not even sure if I've heard of these cards. Uh, DMD. 09 DMD 08 it looks like uh, they're sketch cards so a very nice addition if they are indeed sketch cards um, it looks like a whole set of nine uh, I don't know if these are sketch cards though they don't look like sketch cards they look like photos so um, I haven't looked at my Superman set in a while, so I'm not, I can't remember if these are actually in the card set, but 
I'll just show you guys what's in it. Um, not sure if these are Superman. I guess different versions of Superman. Uh, I could only recognize this one and this one. So I guess it's like um, the artist determining their version or uh, the look of their Superman. So. But um, I guess I'm very happy to add these to add to my card set. I, I don't think I've seen these cards yet. So a lot of cards from Cryptozoic that I haven't seen yet. And finally, I think we get to our last binder. And it looks like it's the Justice League binder. And it looks like we got a whole bunch of cards in there. Let me see if I could get the box out of the way. I think, I think that's everything. It is everything. Alright, so yeah, this is the Justice League from Cryptozoic as well. Uh, I think this is an earlier. Um, oh, actually, this is later, 2016. So, yeah, Justice League's card binder from Cryptozoic. And inside are oh we got another totally fabricated card i think um each set had a binder uh totally fabricated card so oh i might have a parallel because this one is black and i think the one i got was green because it's green arrow so i might have a parallel for this but i'll show you to you guys in a different video so yeah this is the TF15, I guess is what you get with um, purchasing the binder. And let's see what else we got. Here we look like uh, these are the case toppers. So I wasn't sure how big they were. I thought they were card sized, but it does not look like they are card sized. <laughs> they actually look about double. Um, Maybe the oversized cards. Uh, they pretty much are like, I want to say, like uh, blank comic cover cards. And it's uh, sized like a postcard. But pretty much these are the, um, I want to say, either a box topper, that one for every box, or a case topper. I'm leaning most likely on, well, it says BT9, so the, most likely that's a box topper, but yeah, I'll figure this out when I provide the checklist, checklist for this, but it's numbered BT9, box topper 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and yeah, pretty much um, you get one per box, I guess, and you have the nine different ones and each one will just have a title so this one is like superman and i guess it shows stats for um superman so apparently he's only 6'3 225 pounds and then we got batman so yeah this is the case topper for the justice league that I didn't even know existed till like last week. So, um, Wonder Woman, six feet, 165 pounds, Green Lantern, Aquaman. Ooh, Aquaman is, I didn't know he was way heavier than um, Superman at 325 pounds. We got the Flash, <clears throat> Green Arrow, Martian Manhunter, John Jones, 300 pounds, and finally Shazam. So 
that's the box toppers for Justice League. There's also box toppers for um, <clears throat> DC Comics Super Villains, which came out in 2016 that I did not know existed also. And I'm assuming they're just uh, villains instead of heroes from the other one. So the new 52 Black Adam, Black Manta. Looks like they're Xing out all the superheroes with the villain. I think I have these comic books actually. Um, yeah, I have these comic book set because I purchased them um, because they were lenticular and I really like the lenticular um, comic book covers. So I should have all all nine of them. And this one is Brainiac. We got Deadshot. I was really hoping for these to be card size, but um, not sure how I would store these. So I guess I have to just keep them <laughs> like this. <clears throat> this is a uh, Doomsday Grod. I guess Grod is uh, against the Flash. Scarecrow. Is, I'm assuming Batman. Sinestro. A screen lantern and Solomon Grundy not sure who uh, the hero is for this uh, I guess it's Green Lantern and that is it for the box toppers then another set I purchased was the star power for DC bombshells um, I think this is the third one because I already have the second um, second season or um, series uh, two so yeah I think these are third and oh they're kind of thick they're thicker than the cards for this set I think these are very thick for the card set uh, Looks like they're greenish in the background, but we got Wonder Woman, Hawk Girl. Of course, in the DC Bombshells, if you guys are not familiar with this set, the characters are like, they're sort of weird because they look like they're, um, I guess, bombshells in the 50s or like um, when World War II was happening. I'm not really sure but yeah they all have different looks so we got Wonder Woman, Hawk Girl, Harley Quinn, Batgirl, Eliza Lane, Poison Ivy, Supergirl, Black Canary, and Mira. And here's the back. So I guess all the art is by Christine Allen. And yeah, this is the Star Power uh, DC Bombshells 3, which is, I think, 2019. So this is actually one of the newest set for Cryptozoic. Uh, if, yeah, DC Cryptozoic. And then, whew. I was fortunate enough for the the person I purchased this from but I have not been able to find this card anywhere and this is the P7 uh, promo card for season um, I think the first DC bombshell trading card set so yeah I haven't found this card in a while because uh, there's 11 of them in the first promo I think six in the second series and then uh, maybe five for the last one for the third one I can't remember but I've been looking for this card for a while and I've never seen it pop up anywhere and I'm just really happy that I got it for free but I mean I spent a shit ton of money I think I think all of these actually cost me around um, maybe 
I think it was $300, so... And then, I guess the seller just gave this to me so for free, so... Really want to give a shout out to that guy and say thank you. Now I finally have the complete promo set for DC Bombshells, the first one. And... Oh, we forgot about the Batwoman. Uh, it is a 10 card set for the star power. And this is the lowest parallel that you, or the lowest chase base set. I don't really know what to call it, but they, they also have parallel sets to them. So for this chase set. <clears throat> and up next, we have the patch cards. And these patch cards are different from the totally fabricated cards because uh, these are patches instead of made up costume relics <laughs> i'm not really sure but i don't know they're all made up um this is for the super villains set which came out in 2015 everything i have here is from cryptozoic um just gonna say uh the person i purchased all of this from might be a big cryptozoic uh like he might be a retailer because i don't see a lot of people having like this deep into this set like i don't even know these uh cards existed so but yeah these are the patch cards for uh super villains it, lo it looks like e1 to e06 and we got evil super women i guess uh from must be from the altar earth owl man dead storm ultraman which is Evil Superman, Power Ring, and Johnny Quick. Um, this must be like the new 52 super villains, or maybe a uh, Alter Earth. I, I don't really know the storyline they follow in the villains, super villains art card set. But um, I will do my research when I provide the checklist for you guys, so that way I have, I could inform you guys with better information. And the last thing I have for the cards I purchased is, uh, I think this is the Justice League patch set. Um, here we can verify. So it actually uh, continues from the villain set to the Justice League set. So that one was six and here is uh, seven to 12. And yeah, it looks like it's just characters uh probably the biggest six characters in justice league of course superman flash aquaman wonder woman green lantern and cyborg um yeah but that's it <clears throat> i hope you guys are able to hear me or understand me because <clears throat> and i'm su surprisingly i don't think i've coughed that much but yeah i'm kind of sick so uh, anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, if you like my content, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.